Hey everyone, what's up? Steon Pro Pro here. Alright, and today we are going to be making our own little window. Now there are two ways to display it. The first way is this way right here, which I'm going to show you. You can have it pop up in the middle of the screen like that. And of course, you know, have it keep on popping up and then end up completely untransparent. So, uh, the other way to do it is by... Don't worry, you don't have to understand this just yet. I'll show you what all this means later. The other way to do it is where it fades out. And it's like opening a menu, for example. I'll show you how that's done. So that's the other way of doing it. Now, the everything else is completely done because the scene map is no longer active. I'll go ahead and explain everything right now. Alright, so right down here we've created two new scripts. And how you do that is you right click, you click on insert, and it creates a blank script. We're going to name this script Scene Text Window. The names themselves are not case sensitive, but the programming is. And then we're also going to make another one called window text window. In the scene text window, you're going to type in class my text. This is the name of the class. <laughs> Insert you giant, you don't say Mimi here. Meme, not Mimi. All right, so next you want to have a little less than greater than sign. And you want to put scene underscore base. Again, all of this is case sensitive. Then DEF, this stands for define. You're defining the action. So we're going to go with start. We're going to say DEF start. And right underneath that, we're going to type super. Then we're just going to have a small little thing right here. And it says at text window. Remember, this, uh, this is case sensitive. But however, you can name this the first time whatever you want it to. You can have TW. But remember, you have to remember the casing of your little variable. Anyways, moving on. So you want to do at text window equals my window dot new this part is case sensitive what this is gonna do is it's gonna call this script down here the window text window and how this is set up is a little bit different we have class my window again this is case sensitive this is what this is calling so my window then you have a less than greater sign but then we have window underscore base then we have def initialize instead of start Remember, this is case sensitive, and it's also very spelling sensitive. So right here we have super, and in between parentheses, which is little half circle things, we have four numbers. Well, four sets of numbers. These numbers represent the x position, y position, width, and height of the window. Then we have a little thing right here called refresh. What this does is it just calls this definition. So Right underneath that, after we close it off with an end, you want to type DEF refresh. Then we're going to say draw underscore text, again, it's case sensitive, X, Y, 80, line height. And then you're going you're gonna to have whatever text you want here, but that's the message that shows up. So after that, we're going to type in, we're going to type end, and then we're going to type end again. So we're ending this definition and then we're ending this entire class. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now I'll show you how to actually call those. So go to an event, and you want to go to the advanced, and you want to go to script. Now you can call it like this, which will just make it appear as a HUD on the map without interrupting anything you're doing. You'd say at my window equals then my window dot new, because that's the name of the window we had. You could do that. Or you could do it like this. Oops, my mouse kind of double clicked there. All right, so you can do scene manager dot call, and in between parentheses, you can put the name of your scene, my text, and that will call it just like you seen earlier when it fades out and you see the window. So that's the first introduction to scripting. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this. To be perfectly honest, I'm not exactly the best scripter. But I've been kind of learning a little bit of it so I can show you guys a little bit about scripting. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.